Is there any other solution? Something has to be done. I mean, I, personally, I think we have to go to a clean break Brexit. I think the minute we do that, we say we're out, we keep our £39 billion, and we also then can negotiate a free trade deal. I think it's the but only way. are going to be dying in the street? No. Aren't they buying body bags? No. Aren't we going to have a shortage <laughs> of medicines? You're a doctor. No, I, 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 I can actually tell you about that. So I have spoken to all sorts of people, including the EFPIA, which is the trade body looking after pharmaceuticals. I've spoken to pharmaceutical bodies themselves. There has been a lot of robust planning. The NHS Confederation told me that. As far as we know from the work that's been carried out, there will be no shortage of medicines in a no-deal Brexit. All right. It is bluster. It is project fear. Since the European election, it has become more like an empire. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's what it's trying to achieve. Now, empires end up in very bad states. Look at the Roman Empire, yep. look at the British Empire. Mm -hmm. It's not a good place to be. Can I just say, actually working in Brussels, it is very apparent what they're doing. I'm working for a federalist entity. You know, there are these huge logos mm -hmm. everywhere it's with stars building, everywhere. Mm -hmm. The building is like the Death Star. It mm -hmm. is like something I have <laughs> never experienced before. Mm -hmm. And clearly what they're doing, and they've been really open about it, they want an EU army. Mm -hmm. yeah. They yeah. want, you know, mm -hmm. they want a federal Europe. Now that's mm -hmm. fine, but the only, only way that will work is you have to abolish all national democracies mm -hmm. and you have one single parliament and that's what they want. But Luxembourg yeah. are treating us with contempt, James. I mean, Luxembourg, well, the most boring country I on the planet. I didn't know Luxembourg a was country. a country. I thought it was a radio station. Uh, that was a joke. Let's talk about Rory Stewart, okay? Yeah, Rory. David, yes. Rory Stewart, yeah. Uh, has he got much chance of becoming the well, mayor of London? So, so the really funny thing is, just before I came here, I bumped into him. No. Yes. So He's not outside, No, we he? were having coffee just down the road from here. And he's all dressed down, he's in his jeans, he couldn't stop smiling. Yeah. So he's obviously decided that this is the best decision of his life. Mm -hmm. But to me, this smacks of, he's annoyed, he's left the Conservative Party, he's now standing against Sean Bailey, and Sean is obviously the official Conservative candidate. We had candidate. Sean on the show a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Um, does he stand much chance? I, I don't think so. He needs a political machine behind him, and I think you need one of the you know mainstream parties behind you. Basically, he wanted something, they didn't give it to him, leadership. And he said, I'm never going to leave the Tory party. And then two minutes later, yeah, it was like, Twitter. you know what? I'm still crying. They don't let me play. Mm. I'm going to go somewhere else. Mm. It's, it's, it's not politics. It's not uh, logical. It, it's just it's being but, selfish. But, 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 but if he does get elected as mayor and then goes and does marvellous things for London, not saying he will, and then goes back into the Conservative Party, mm. he could end up as Prime Minister. It's not unheard of. Oh dear. This, it, this might have happened in the past. But it does seem an extraordinary thing to have done because, you know, he had a constituency, you know, he could stay a Member of Parliament, you know, it's likely that the Conservatives might get back in. This seems like throwing out all your toys, mm. you know, the baby with the bathwater, doesn't it? Saying, I'm going to resign. I'm no longer going to be a Member of Parliament. I'll stand on this kind of weird ticket of Mayor of London. I mean, bear in mind, he does live in Chelsea, yeah. so he probably still doesn't want to be an MP up in the North West, which is my patch mm. as an MEP. So he probably thinks this is his golden ticket. Let's talk about Harry and Meghan. I've worked as a journalist for a long time, obviously, James. Yeah. And never have I seen such an example of stupid behaviour coming from the royal family. Mm. If she wanted to sue over breach of copyright, absolutely fine. However, the statement that Harry put out at the same time has was hysterical, over the top, um, and has just shut themselves in for again. I feel sorry for them because no, I they're don't a young. Well, I do no, because not they're a young couple. Form. And, you know, I wouldn't want his life or her life mm. for anything. Mm. And I think we need to cut them a bit of slack. If you ever look at the social media harassment no, of no, her, no, uh, yeah, it is no, absolutely uh, uh, appalling. Totally wrong. Personal insults and trolling is absolutely wrong. But this is hypocritical. She's not a celebrity. Harry isn't a celebrity. They are members of the royal family mm. for which we pay. We pay their wages. They should do the job that they Look, are doing. And I agree. they shouldn't. Dawn, I don't want to fall out with you, but I agree to a certain extent. Go on. No, no, no. And I just think we need to cut them a bit of slack. I have, and I'll tell you this if you want to get in touch, feel free. I've never met a nice Republican. No. <laughs> 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 oh. sure. Thereby lies the problem, because of course, Meghan lived in California, she was famous. She was an actor, and I think that she still thinks it's the same sort of job, and it isn't does, the same no. sort of job at all. It's but they a need a good PR job. company they to do, look after. They do, but I think the thing is that um, that Harry is so insistent that they move away from the royal family, that they do things their way, yeah. which I think is absolutely fine. But And obviously he is very, very traumatised by what happened, but I don't think Meghan has quite realised the extent of her new job. Yeah, yeah. No, I she agree. doesn't, no, I absolutely. Agree.
almost 30,000 snowflakes have signed a petition, this is Ricky was one of them, uh, to get <laughs> the Oxford Dictionary to change its definition of woman. Oh, Dawn? Oh what? Which has Dawn. derogatory synonyms like filly and bird listed under its meaning. Should it be updated to reflect the times? No, no, not get over it. <laughs> Stop being a snowflake. But dictionaries oh, always, but it, are always updated. They've called language. They? So, yeah, but they, they, they update. But they've called language. I mean, uh, that's what well, that's what makes our language so. Based on what society are saying anyway, yeah. and or have said in the past, yeah, like exactly. like selfie, for example, yeah. is there now? Yeah. yeah. And some people might not like the word selfie, but that's what it means but within how, society. How many people now refer to a woman as a bird? I, and I, I, I do. You, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think that's unusual. Well, you are unusual. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sorry, I did, sorry I that wasn't. No, you sorry. Me. No, oh my God. Sorry, hang on. Hang on. Should we? Should we guys now get upset about being called a bloke or a fella? What? Or a geezer? No. no. There are more important things to I think so. Yeah, I think are... So why would 30,000 people sign this petition? Because people Bad are... Parent. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Just one quick one, James. This Go is on. from Darren Woodley. It says, James Whale, still talking nonsense after all these years. Mm. Shocker. <laughs> well, you should know. You've been watching and following for all these years, so there we are. At first we were afraid. We were petrified. How would we manage without Europe standing by our side? David Cameron rolls the dice and then we find he ups and legs it. And frankly, it's not nice to go and leave them all with Brexit. He went away, walked out the door, turned his back now. It's not his party anymore. They work round the clock in London, do they ever get to play? Boris might not have the chance yet, but at last Theresa May. And my poor dear, I sometimes fear you were left in choppy waters, as it did appear. When PM you made a leap, and yes, you did your best for Blighty. Be glad that you can sleep now much more soundly in your nighty. We'll survive, we will survive. What we need's determination and an awful lot of drive. Britain has its borders not like all the other nations. And sadly that brings with it far too many complications. No one knows quite where they stand. So many differences and factions causing rifts in our great land. If this fair isle were only England, that would surely help us lots. But please don't make me cross the border and suggest that to the Scots. We'll survive. We will survive, but our worries buzz around our heads like bees do in their hive. We're all on edge, our toes are curled, we need some pills to calm us. Is this the last day of the world foretold by Nostradamus? It's not far off, it's coming near. Who will unravel all the problems and restore some order here? When still there's all the greyness of a Stockton on Tees Fog And to clear it we need Sherlock Holmes, if not Jacob Rees-Mogg <laughs> Joking apart, where do we start? What do we aim for when our arrow's not as sharp as Cupid's dart? What's our target? Surely this is when we show the world our muscles However, then again, it's not so easy leaving Brussels How can we see how life will be? Without our continental partners there to be our family Will they shake our hands and try to tell us all how much they'll miss us The French are bound to cry and then take half an hour to kiss us All's done and said, it's going ahead This most fiendish separation up with which we all are fed The committees did their bit and on their backs we ought to pat them There's not been such a split since that occasion with the atom but that Thursday will arrive Will we survive? Will those Brexiteers go wild When they get out of work at five? Will they dance on Tower Bridge? Will any of them be left sober? Well, let's wait and see what happens On the last day of October Will we survive?